Hi, this is Dr. Shweta Aratya and you are with the Limitless Brain channel. And today's topic is such an important and interesting topic. It is, do I need some brain supplements? Do I really need nootropics? Nootropics is nothing but the supplements which actually potentiate or amplify your brain's performance. Now, uh, COVID came in and we all got so much of uh, fear that we need to protect our immunity. We need to protect the brain from getting the cognitive fog. So many things happened during the time of COVID. And we all know that a lot of people started to pop in magnesiums and zinc, uh, vitamin C, vitamin D. It was all over the place, uh, particularly during the time of COVID. Now, uh, when I got the COVID, that was the first time when I understood what really a cognitive fog meant. What really meant it is to be confused, to not able to understand what is going on, to cognitively not able to attend. That was my very first, first experience, I would say. Yes, we do see a lot of patients who come with these complaints. But when you sort of have an experience, you have undergone that, you understand what is really behind the scenes story, what happens to you. Now, uh, today's time, we live in all the stressors that are all around us, right from the screens to the constant sensory stimulation, to the lack of sleep, to lack of uh, so many things which is happening around us. Now, we need to take a pause, reflect and say, what is it required for my brain's health? Now, let me give you a statistics where if we don't do anything, you and me, you're not just, we are not doing anything. Every 10 years, uh, we will you lose 5% of the brain. Every 10 years, 5% of the brain just shrinks. It just atrophies. It just goes away. Now, the interesting thing is that the atrophy, what is happening, is happening where? Now, that is the one fundamental question to ask. It can happen in my frontal cortex, which is very, very, very important for decision making, judgment, my future, to decide what I can do best or not, my emotional regulation, mood regulation, cognition, speed of reasoning, everything is happening in that frontal cortex. So it is extremely important to understand that if every year I am going to lose a certain cells, I need to be worried about it and I need to do something. The latest statistics of Alzheimer's disease and Alzheimer's is nothing but dementia, where you lose memory, you also lose orientation, you can lose the orientation of the space, you can have difficulty in emotional regulation, you can have severe, significant mood challenges and it is a significant problem which right now the world in the Western countries is already facing. The percentage, what was shocking was 1700% rise, which is going to be expected for the Alzheimer's dementia and not just Alzheimer's dementia. In fact, the latest conference, which I was there in Singapore, they suggested that the digital dementia continuously lose using the screens, you are losing your brain cells. So using the screen and losing the brain cells, this is called the digital dementia. A lot of people over the age of 60 who has been constantly using the phones have the risk of that dementia. So we know that these are the changes which is going to happen in your brain. As a lot of you would have also encountered that every single decade, as your decade shifts, and I personally also had that experience that when you were 30, you had that energy, you were fit, you could think anything, you could do a late night. And as you go to 40, you sort of start to slow down. As you go to 50, you even slow down further. But can I protect from that? Can I, can I prevent it? Can I make my cells play to The atrophy is sort of stalled. Can I do something about it? And the answer absolutely is yes. Now, coming back, can I do it with the supplements? Because that is the fundamental question which a lot of people ask. In fact, I had this patient, you know, just last week, she brought me an entire bag full of supplements. I had to literally scout through what are all the substances that she was taking. It was right from bacopa to lion's mane to mushrooms. She was also taking magnesium, 5-HTP, L-theanine, GABA. It was all like, you know, like a literally khichdi, I would say, of all the substances that she brought in. Now, 
we need to be really smart about this particular thing. The answer, I will give the answer whether do you need supplements or not, but let us understand the basics of it. Let us understand fundamentally how can we protect the brain. Now, brain, if we have to cut it into literally microscopically go down in the brain, eventually you will end up with a brain cell. Now, every single brain cell itself is potent and powerful, but how does it run? It runs through a factory, it runs through energy, it runs through chemicals. And what are those chemicals? ATP. And particularly mitochondrial function is extremely important for the brain. The cover of the cell is very, very important. Vitamin B12, some form of omega-3, DHEA. There are so many substances which form the cover of the cell. Very, very important. All the minute uh, chemical reactions which are happening, which will have sodium, potassium, magnesium, all the small, 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 we call it also the essential minerals, which is taking place right within the cell. Now, my job is to protect the cell and the brain cell would behave exactly like whether it's your skin cell or it's your bone cell or any other cell. What is happening is as we age, there is degeneration which is happening. The cell slowly is dying. Now, we need to protect every single chemical structure which is happening, but not necessarily that I need every single supplement for that. Otherwise, you know, there won't be an end to all the chemical processes which are happening in the brain and the body. So what is the logical thing to do? The logical thing to do is having a diet or the food which you take every day, which is quite balanced. The diet should include all the antioxidants. When I say antioxidants, which is nothing but protecting the cell damage, also assisting in cell repair. So the diet should contain the antioxidants. The diet should have some dark skinned leafy vegetables or the dark skinned foods or fruits, which will actually include all these chemicals that I'm talking about. Then what is very, very important is exercise. When you are moving, you produce BDNF, you do produce serotonin, and that is equally effective to protect the cell that we are talking about. The fourth very, very extremely important thing is to keep yourself hydrated because finally, 70% of that cell is made of water and it is very, very important for us to keep that water also intact. And after all of this, what you have done, extremely, extremely important that you cut out on anything which is junk. Why? Because that junk is nothing but inducing toxins and chemical reactions, which is also killing the cells. Now, if you were taking all the supplements in the diet, in the natural form, so let's say your vitamin C is also getting covered by taking your lemons, you are taking all the fruits, which are citrus, if you are taking, uh, making sure that green leafy vegetables is giving you vitamin B12, you're making sure that your omega-3 is getting covered from one of the, the oils that you take, the MCTs or the fish oils. If you are making sure that you have a balanced diet, essentially you don't need a supplement. But you need to ask yourself this very important question. Is your diet healthy? Is your diet wholesome? This is extremely important. Now, if you want to test whether your brain is fit or not, at the lab, we have created a brain fitness score. So I'm going to post it right in the comment section below. Do that fitness test to understand how your lifestyle is connected to your brain strength right now as we speak. So there are three gradations. Over 60, good job. You, you, whatever you are doing is working for you. Between 50 and 60, you need to correct some factors. If it is less than 50, well, it's time to wake up and you really need to take your lifestyle to the next level. And we need to seriously work on that. Now, supplements do have a role. Let's, let's, let's see where does the supplements have a role. So if you are a person who is not able to absorb these vitamins or absorb these minerals, your diet is not enough. You do not get enough exposure to the sunlight. If all this is a problem and you're 50 and over or 50 and above, you want to stall the growth of all the these dying neurons, that is when you do need a supplement. So I was going through a lot of literature and trials. Believe me, all the so-called natural organic ingredients, which has been, you know, popping up like, you know, mushrooms, 
all across the nootropics or the brain supplement uh, thing. Not everything is for everyone. We have to craft it. We have to really make sure what you need and what you require. And our lab has been working also on those individualized and personalized nootropic suggestions for you. Because there's no point in just taking everything or there's no point in taking nothing. You really have to see what is your lifestyle like and balance it. Do you want to manifest a dream life, a dream car, an amazing relationship? Do you want to manifest your profession where you are at the top? Well, people say manifestation is manipulation, manifestation is not possible. Believe me, from the point of view of neuroscience, it is just reframing the mindset from the poverty mindset to the abundance mindset. There are steps to it. There is a way in which you can do that. And this particular neuroscience manifestation course is one of the popular courses which we are doing right now. And I will bring you some fascinating facts. And if you do practice consistently over a period of time, I guarantee manifestation is not just possible. It is very easily doable. So join me on this course of the neuro manifestation module where I meet all of you. And together we live a beautiful, amazing, happy and abundant life. However, one of the largest trials which was conducted and which is positive because oftentimes a lot of trials got conducted but nothing was really positive. The biggest trial is called Cosmos which was released a few months back and I had the opportunity to meet a couple of people associated with Cosmos as well and it was very interesting. They uh, went and saw how is the brain health related to cocoa consumption and also to a health supplement. The health supplement that they tested was called the Centrum, uh, the Centrum Silver. It has some 17 ingredients into it. And uh, this was very positive to sort of at the two and a half years period, they were able to stop the brain atrophy, which is an amazing thing. So you're essentially getting two and a half years of the extra cognition or extra brain health, which came out from the trial. Now, very interesting as I was reading this trial was also, let's say if all the ingredients you remove from, so any multivitamin that you take, if you go through the list of the ingredient, you will see what is the proportion or the percentage that is in your daily allowance. Now, most of the times, most of the times, and, and mark my words, any supplement that you take is not enough either for your body weight or at the percentage allowed. So what I really liked about this particular supplement was the combination has been really thought of. So people who are looking for the cognitive support, looking to feel a little memory issues and this, and if your diet is not wholesome, if you're not doing all the natural things that I just talked about, there's no harm in grabbing one. But personally, if you ask me, the nootropics have a role to play, provided you know what is your brain type provided you know where do you stand in terms of the fitness. So that is the reason why at the lab, we want to create simple tools, which you can grab very easily. You can talk to us and then design the right chemical, design the right natural substance, design the right lifestyle for you. I always end with my favorite, favorite thing for the day. It is movers every single day, spending five minutes for each of the components of movers which our lab has designed is enough for you. I'm a huge believer of quality over quantity. I'm a huge believer of not to have any hulas around it. Just do it scientifically, but do it is the thing. In this movers, we will add now very, very important. What is your diet like? So instead of the S, let's make it moved and the diet. If you are taking a wholesome diet, if you are taking a perfectly balanced, well, consume diet with all the nutrition, then you don't need to take the brain health supplement. But I would like to hear from you as you do your brain fitness score. Let's keep chatting. This is me, Dr. Shweta Aratya at the Limitless Brain Lab. Thank you to all the people and for all your suggestions. Yes, very open to listen to what you want as a topic as well to be covered. And we will keep bringing our research onto the platform for all of you. Thank you very much.